Virgo, hi, welcome to your read. We are going to be looking at the tarot for you for mid-March. These are general reads, so take these reads, how they resonate for you, whether it be in regards to career, finances, romance. Um, and just realize these are general reads, so they may not resonate for you, or they may not hit right, but just realize you can always take a little piece of the read and just leave the rest for everybody else. If you'd like your own personal read, feel free to reach out to me on email. My email's in the description below. I can do an astrology birth chart for you or we can do your tarot. And if you'd like to just get to know who I am personally, my Instagram is listed below as well, where you can follow me and see my reels and my stories and just get to know me, who I am personally. You know, Virgo, anytime I do your reads, I can't stop about thinking around October. I think it was maybe from August to October, maybe to November, these... You would get these strange reads. <laughs> and for some reason, you just kind of settle down, Virgo, and I really haven't had a problem doing your reads lately. Which is a good thing, right? We don't want to have problems in our reads, but... I think whatever you've been going through, there is a reason for that. And I really feel like in your read, I really feel like you're going to connect. Is what I'm hearing, you're going to connect. So I don't know what that's about, but that's what I'm hearing, you're gonna connect what you connect with, I don't know, it could just be you, it could just be like a new person, maybe past person, we'll see. Let's start here. You have the four of chalices in the past or something, um, emotionally somebody wasn't connecting with you here. Three of pentacles, you're still willing to show you want to build something that looks like a marriage, something committed with the hierophant here. It could have come to an end. Um, in the present energy, you have the Four of Swords, healing, and the gift in the middle. There's somebody here that's going to give you a gift here pretty soon. Um, just the way I'm hearing it. There's a gift here. An Eight of Pentacles. Work. I like this because now there's something showing up here with wanting to do certain work. I, no, no. Strange. And for the future energies, Page of Swords... Eight of Wands and the Moon. There's something here and you read at the end about that connection that um, it's not going to come out in this video today. I have no idea what it is and for some reason this Moon is saying that we aren't going to find out what that is. Although we will clarify. I think this is going to be kind of... Uh, nice read for you Virgo I really do it, there is some sort of connection here and the Empress is your general energy um some of you might be expecting as well you know if you haven't been doing the deed and you know you're not gonna expect don't stress out but some of you if you are expecting uh, congratulations um, when the Empress shows up here as the main card of the read, the strongest card, although the strongest would be the first one I put on the table, she is saying why you're here at this read. There could be children involved. You could have children, um, specifically, I'm picking up, there might be a Virgo watching this with a baby that's not even one years old yet. And maybe there is no father or maybe there's no mother and you're a single parent right now. Um, I am picking that up, okay? And um, there is a very good result. So please stick around for this whole read. Even if it doesn't resonate, you might get the very good resonation at the end. Um, four of Chalices here, Three of Pentacles in the Hierophant. Um, 
It's like somebody here was unsatisfied with you, or you were unsatisfied with something here. Not sure if it was them or you. It could be for either or, these are general reads. And then there's the Three of Pentacles here. Um, somebody decided to build anyways. There's a sense of dissatisfaction with this person, but the decision to continue to build and move forward to something that looked kind of traditional, right? And this is a very difficult card, especially if you're Western or if you're from Australia or if you're from Europe. You, I don't know about Europe, but maybe... Um, from a place where society says now where marriage isn't something you need, like in a place where I live, like Japan, um, it's considered dirty if you have your single mom or single dad. It's considered uh, not very in the lines of a normal life, although that's starting to kind of break away here. That There's still countries like that. So if you're from a country that you still look at traditional systems as a necessary part of life, there may have been something here that was just kind of forced because, well, I'm going to have a baby, so we need to get married. That's just an example here. The whole thing about children, I know it's not going to resonate for all of you. Um, you know, take that as it resonates. But I do feel like maybe there is a sense of dissatisfaction with you and this past person. But there was the, the decision to continue to build and to go towards something traditional. Maybe it was because it was the only option or maybe it was the only thing that was looking good at the time. Now, we have the Four of Swords in the current energy. Some healing. I'm feeling because I feel like something fell apart here. The gift and the eight of pentacles. Um, there's a gift here and um, this is a special card that shows up in this tarot deck alone. There's a key here. It, this literally could be the gift of a key. Somebody wanting you to come move in with them. Or this could be the key of... Um, when you're feeling that you're alone and there's nobody there for you now and then e even when you accepted somebody that was on a lower level than you or that you know you had to settle for that you're never going to find something better oh and especially if you have children involved I know how hard it is to be a single parent you know my mom was a single mother right I know how hard that is right so I see this key, though, as the universe presenting something to you here and maybe somebody in the physical 3D presenting you a gift and it's somebody that's willing to put a lot of work into you. Oh, Virgo, this is a very beautiful read. Because, um, like, this Three of Pentacles was the past person who was like, yeah, sure, we'll build a wall, we'll build this. And there's a new person that shows up here that says, no, we'll build an empire together that can continue growing, not just walls and a window, um, something that'll grow on for the rest of... You know, and there's the sirens. Virgo, like the sirens is always showing up in your, your videos now. Um... This is somebody willing to build with you and give you the greater love story that's been missing from your life, maybe. And these sirens are really annoying. Hold on, because it kind of takes me out of my concentration. You know, it's raining today, so I know there's going to be a lot more sirens because there's going to be a lot more car accidents. But I like this new format, like we could just enjoy the rainy day together. <laughs> of course, after the ambulance, then you hear all the police sirens following out after. Oh, 
Okay, they're gone. Nice. Um, yeah, so this new thing wants to show up and build with you something that actually grows, not just walls and a window, not just something that's going to be there for uh, just to kind of like hold the fort down. This is more of like, let's let's actually build something. And this actually, because it's the Eight of Pentacles and it's under this Hierophant, it actually looks more traditional than what you originally had. And like that's specifically going towards people that are coming from countries where tradition really puts pressure, there's society pressure. I know that may not make sense for you if you're coming from America, you know, I'm American, I understand. But for some other countries, there is, there is actual social pressure associated with the home and the family unit. So just be aware that, yeah, I know it may not resonate for you, but for some other countries it might. And be aware, this is YouTube. There's a lot of other... I know I have a lot of uh, views from India. So, you know, there is a lot of social pressure there. Um, Page of Swords here. In the future energies... There's something here um, you're going to learn. There's something here that you start to really take an account of. And it starts coming from a mental space. And realizing that, yeah, you do have connection to the outer realms and that universe. And that beautiful communication with spirit. You have that. The person you connect to, if you don't have a person now, or if you are connecting to a person, they show up in a way of a student. And they show up in the way where they communicate a lot to you. The thing is that maybe you're afraid that they're holding secrets from you too, which they are not. That is not this person. This person... The moon is giving me opposite vibes. This moon card is showing me that they are a nurturer. They probably have some strong cancer placements or Pisces. And Virgo, what's across the street from you, Virgo? You should know that with the Virgo full moon, what's across the street from it at sunset was the sun. That's right, Pisces. The sun is in Pisces. Your seventh house of relationships. You also have Neptune, Jupiter. It's really important that you believe in the relationships that's going to present itself to you. And realize that this person wants to build something with you and not halfway build a little fort in the forest with you. This person wants to build the forest with you, so to speak. Um, let's see here the four of chalices in the past. What was the disappointment? Um, you know, some of you, this could have been an unexpected pregnancy. Some of you, this could have been an unexpected uh, breakup. What this could have been, or, you know, maybe both. For some of you, this could have just been an unexpected lover that showed up, and it just seemed right at the time. It wasn't all four cups, but they just gave you enough. They gave you that one cup here. Ten of Swords, ouch. The Knight of Chalices and the Queen of Chalices. Um, you know, this is... Um, this was two people being brought together from very... From the same space, but on different levels. There could have been another relationship you left before you got into this relationship in the past. Now, this is past, by the way. And what happened is here is that you showed up like a queen here and this other energy shows up like a knight. Although they are both water, they both had emotions, and I could see that's why you would connect and trust somebody. 
they are both on different levels. When I see people in reeds and I pick up energies in reeds, I want to know what level they're on. Now the knight is a quester, but the queen has her responsibilities. And maybe you were left with a lot of responsibilities while somebody was off on the quest here. Let's see with the Hierophant here in the past. Nine of Swords. Yeah, and you know what I was talking about? Social pressure. There it goes. Nine of Swords. Three of Swords. Ouch. And the Knight of Swords. Ouch. This was definitely kind of like... I already know I lost 90% of you. I've already lost 90% of you when I'm saying there was something that felt like forced marriage or forced to be in a situation ship. Or you know how we refer to it in Tarot World. A situation shit. Was it the only thing available to you at that time? Possibly. Um, and it came with a lot of pain. It's a lot of swords. It's a lot of swords. There was definitely a separation there. In the current energies, I see your healing. But from this healing is sometimes you got to get out of that space where you've been healing because it, it just feels right. And you got to say, hey, you know, it's time for me to get up. It's time for me to do something here. Yeah, this is definitely you rising from this healing up. Uh, you... Mid-March, you're definitely coming out of some sort of healing here, Virgo. The tower with the Empress and the Two Wands. Don't be afraid of the tower. I feel like the tower's already fallen and you're already on your way to rising. You have the Empress twice in your read. It's time to wake up from this healing. It's time to rise out of that tomb that that soldier's in from the Four of Swords. You have the gift with this key here. There's something here. I'm going to clarify the gift, although I never clarify the middle. Let's clarify. I'm feeling called to clarify it. There's a gift here for this Eight of Chalices. Let's clarify the gift card. Judgment. The star, five of chalices. Yeah, you know, Virgo, this gift shows up only when you're really to judge your past and judge it as something that it's something gone. And that door has been shut a long time ago. Um, the star, I mean, that's Aquarius. I mean, that's definitely, you know, it's realizing where your hopes are going to be and realizing that, yeah, five of chalices, once you drop that cup in the river... And you realize you got two very good cups behind you here. Is when this gift shows up. And it shows up in the way of somebody wanting to build an empire with you. I had one card fall. I won't take it because it touched the floor. Although it was an Ace of Wands, so it's going to be pretty passionate, maybe. <laughs> you got a very passionate thing on the way, Virgo. It's nice. I feel it with this card. Six of Pentacles. Wow. Five of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. This is somebody willing to... Wow. Like, you have something here very nice on the way. It's in the form of Six of Pentacles, Five of Wands, and Ace of Pentacles. I like the Five of Wands in there because it's somebody willing to put an effort to you, towards you. And um, if there is a competition to win you this season, this mid-March and April, Virgo, I feel like this person's willing to put in the work. Fight for you. I feel like this person really wants to get at that door and open that door here 
for a relationship with you, for something that's looking stable. But not only stable, but somebody that wants to build instead of that measly Three of Pentacles, they want to build that Eight of Pentacles with you and work. Because what happens with Saturnian things is why Libra is in charge of the seventh house and why Saturn's excelled in the seventh house is because after romance takes place, after the Leo stuff happens, you know, around, what's next? It's about the work you put in the relationship. And somebody probably was really good at the romance with that Knight of Cups at the beginning clarification, but they were really bad at the Hierophant stuff, the Tauren stuff. Taurus trying to make things grow now you're going to meet somebody that wants to make things grow and not only make things grow but protect it here in the future energies king of wands could be dealing with the Leo Virgo eight of swords the king of wands and the five of pentacles you know this is you learning and this is also you possibly leaving this person in the cold I have to say that for some of you, maybe not having enough trust, you may be throwing away a good option when it shows up. So just be careful, you know, that's why this Page of Swords is kind of like a warning card of, you know, like you're learning still. So be careful what you throw away because there actually might be something very stable, very beautiful here. You may be throwing away somebody that shows up like a king, right? A king to fit that Queen of Chalice here at the beginning of the read. Like I said, there was balanced energy or what seemed to look like it at the beginning, but the problem was that somebody was on the night level, not on the queen's level. Let's see here with the moon, the thing that you're not seeing here about connection. King of Swords, Ten of Wands, Ace of Swords. Yeah, so... You're going to go a little bit back and forth on this new energy. There's going to be a little bit of a, a struggle here. But I feel once you start to look at things, you're going to drop. You're going to drop that like, uh, you know, I don't want to say stubbornness, but you're going to drop that, that coldness you have. And there is some healing you're doing. And I really feel while you're doing this healing, You upgrade your life here with this moon and you connect to the universe. Not only that, but I feel like what the universe is trying to say is you get a good connection that shows up for you because somebody out there knows the value of the Virgo. Somebody who will love you. Somebody who will build and defend everything they've built with you and not throw it away like the first one. That's all I got for you, Virgo. I'll see you guys again next week. Bye.